Hello everyone. Many employees who are being laid off in the United States and looking for a change of status for the same are concerned about the widespread mass layoffs that are occurring there. Please be aware that I am not an immigration attorney who has attained any sort of certification. Thus, the advice I offer in today's video is solely my opinion. If an H-1B employee has been fired, I have seen that many immigration consultants push clients to alter their status to an F-1 visa after enrolling in college or to a B visa to extend their stay in the country. If you don't know what you're doing, this might go horribly wrong, guys. Please be aware that anything other than transferring to another H-1B employer will be viewed by the counsellor officer at your next visa stamp interview as a very unusual move, opening the door to closer examination of your visa application and a significantly increased risk for visa issues that could maybe a denial or a 221G that is an administrative processing delay. Your strategy should include a plan for future counsellor and visa stamping success. Plan for more than just the next few months that you will be able to remain in the country legally. You don't want to jeopardize your future eligibility to enter the country under any visa category by ignoring the counsellor ramifications, guys. Remember that the USCIS and the Department of State are two separate US government departments and are in charge of the visa and immigration procedures. What is effective for one agency may not be effective for another. I recommend work with immigration lawyers that are knowledgeable about the USCIS or a former counsellor officer who can provide you advice on how to succeed at your next visa interview if you want to receive the finest plan and support possible. You just need not get intimidated or worked up or worried. Approach the right people for the right advice. I'm sure you should be able to sail through the difficult time. So if you want such important updates and information about your study abroad, you should be subscribing to this channel today so that you don't miss any of our updates. Thank you for watching today's video.